Okay, today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this pedometer. So obviously this one is used for tracking steps that you take, um, but it also has a couple of extra functions as well. So anytime this display is on, it also features a clock function. So this displays the hour and the minute. It says in the manual that it displays the second, but I'm just not sure how. There's only places for hour and minute there. Um, and you can do either 12 or 24 hour clock that you can change within the mode settings. So does your step counting, it... Um, will, you know, step count anything there. Now, I haven't been wearing this one today yet, so you can see that I am at zero steps currently right now. Um, it also does calorie counting. So you've got your mode set button that will scroll through here. So this is actually, um, let's skip ahead to the distance calculating it ranges. Um, it will just track your distance there, and I had to go in and set it to mile. I believe it was... Um, it had a different setting, but you can go in and set how you want that set up. It comes automatically in the metric system, so you can go ahead and change that. Okay, it also counts calories, which I guess, you know, is just based off of your walking. It will um, count that. And then it has a, um, let me scroll through here. Okay, it has a sports timer. Um, and I'm not actually sure when I saw that it had a sports timer, I thought it would be some kind of stopwatch that you could set. Um, but really, yeah, the sports timer is just not, it just randomly tracks certain minutes. So I don't know if that is meant to track when you are engaging in a sporting activity or how it knows that or how it calculates that. I've noticed just when I'm wearing it, it'll randomly have four minutes on there or whatever. And it's not necessarily, um, it'll be like tracking minutes when I'm just walking around my house. Um, and not necessarily when I am doing any kind of sporting activity. So I'm not really sure how that works and what the point is of that function to be quite honest. Um, it also has a memory function function where it can track seven days worth of steps, uh, your distance and calories. So you can track, um, all of those things through there. And it has a sleep function as well, which really this is just a sleep mode. So after three minutes of you not touching the screen or doing anything with it, it will, um, go ahead and go into a sleep mode and, um, it'll come back on anytime you press one of these buttons. So you have four buttons right here, your mode set, your memo. Um, this is your reset where you really set functions on here and your up button and your down button. Okay, so I found that on mine, I don't know if there's just a problem with mine, but my down button really, really doesn't really work. So sometimes if I'm like long pressing it and hitting it repeatedly, it'll sometimes scroll it down, but I mainly have to scroll through with that up to go through all of the settings in order to set it up. Okay, so step counting mode, this is always going, um, and you can erase your steps. So if you want to erase all the, your steps for the day, you can hold in a button to erase all of that. Not sure why you would want to. Um, I have done that once or twice, um, and then it's just not tracked in your, in your regular thing there. If you want to start over and say, I'm just tracking my steps from right now, say I'm going to an amusement park or something, and I want to see how many steps I'm doing starting right now once I enter the park, you can do that. Um, but it is nice to have your data from the past seven days that you can look at as well. So you mainly are going to use this mode set button in order to cycle through all those different functions. So your steps, your distance, your calories, and, and then your sports time, whatever that may be, and then back to your steps. Yeah, so as far as that sport time goes, the only thing it says in the manual is, um, you know, how to get to it with the mode set button. And you can check the sport time spent presently. So I don't know what that means, how you check your sport time and what sport time means and how the pedometer knows that you are currently engaging in a sport or whether or not it's just logging something as a sport time when you're just walking around in your house. I'm not sure. All right, so next let's take a look at that sports record tracking mode where we can track the past seven days. So in order to get into that mode, you hit the memo button here on the left, and then you can cycle through um, one days, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, six days ago, 
seven days ago. Okay, so we'll just say seven days ago rather than using this mode set because that will take you that will take you right back to this and out of your regular mode, okay, for just you looking through and tracking things. Um, you're gonna use this button right here, the reset button to go through. Okay, so let's look at um, day two, two days ago, okay? Um, so we'll hit this button to travel through where you can see the different features on here. So you can see your distance, you can see your calories, um, you can see your steps, etc. So let's see, where's my... Calories and your steps. It won't show you your sport time, which I'm not even sure what that is. So you can't go back and look at that. It's only those three things that you can go back and track for the past couple of days. And then like you can just keep hitting this to get to whatever day you want. Okay, and then scroll through to look at the details there. Okay, so that's how you use that function. You hit the mode set button to get out of it. Okay, as far as going in and setting these things up, you just hit this reset button. You're gonna hold that in for at least two seconds in order to get into the setting mode. Um, and then you can go in and set everything. So I'm actually not gonna do that right now because my down button doesn't work very well and I don't wanna reset anything and then have to scroll through the app to get to all of that. But once you're in there, it will take you through first your clock. You can set either 12 or 24 hours and then you set the hours and then the minutes. You just use these simple buttons that are on here to scroll through. You've got your up and down and then this to set. Okay, so you set your hours, your minutes, and then you can choose either metric or British system. So um, if you're wanting to see miles instead of kilometers, that's where you do that. Um, you also set your body weight in here. I'm not sure how that really affects anything to have your body weight in there, but you can set that in there. Um, and then you can set your step length so it'll say like in inches, you know, what's the length of your step so it can better track how many steps you personally are taking. And then you can set a target for target steps um, reminding. So you can put in a target goal. So let's say that you want to go 10,000 steps a day. You can set that in there. Um, So yeah, once you're in this setting mode, after 60 seconds of you not doing anything, it'll automatically go off of that. Um, and yeah, the, the weight that it starts out, it's set to automatically be at 130 pounds and the step length refers to 24 inches. So if you want to adjust that um, poundage and your step length, that's where you do it right there. So this little thing operates on a cell battery. It's a 2032. It actually comes with a spare battery as well. So this comes with one battery inside and then a spare, uh, which is nice. I started buying these 2032s in bulk because we just kept having more and more little gadgets that use them. Um, but yeah, since it's not a super common battery to have in your house, like a double A or a triple A, it's nice that they include an extra one. So um, that's always nice when products do that. So um, the good thing about this, as opposed to, it uh, comes with this little cord here so you can wear around your neck, or you can obviously take that off and just carry it with you. You can carry this in your pocket, and unlike one that's worn on your wrist, it won't depend on you swinging your arm. So if you're like me and you're out on walks a lot where you're pushing a stroller, uh, my arm's not necessarily moving and it doesn't automatically track that, say, like on my Fitbit. But in this, I could put, um, you can solve that by wearing that on your ankle or something. But for this, I can slip this into my pocket or, you know, put into a bag. It does not have a clip on the back. All it has is just this dangling cord. So you can wear it around your neck while you're out walking or running, or you can put it in a bag um, or, you know, put it anywhere in a belt in a pocket um, and will still be tracking your steps, whether or not you're moving your arm around. So um, that's been your closer look at this. So not only is it a pedometer, you know, I've had ones that are just regular pedometers that just track your steps. This one does a little bit more by generating how many calories you're burning, um, tracking how many miles that is. So sometimes looking at the steps doesn't mean too much until you can see like, oh, okay, so that means that I've been walking five miles today. 
Um, and then of course you can look back at your past seven days. So it's not quite as smart as one of the smart ones that you would wear on your wrist where you can really track a whole lot of things and keep track of it in an app. You know, it's just simple for if you're running just a simple pedometer to just, uh, you know, be watching what you're doing in steps, but you can look back at the past week. So it's a little bit smarter than your typical pedometer. Um, and, but you know, not on a wristwatch or something that's crazy convenient to wear in sports. Obviously wearing this around your neck when you're running is super inconvenient or if you're doing things where you're like squatting, jumping, doing burpees, doing push-ups, this dangling around your neck is not going to be really, really convenient. You can slip it into a pocket. So if you've got like yoga pants that have a pocket, um, this would slide into nicely. So it obviously has its pros and cons, but those are the features of this particular pedometer. And that has been your closer look.